So I've been looking at the RG expansion set, the heavy weapon system for New Gundam, and I have to say it looks amazing. Let's uh, take a look at it together and determine whether it's worth buying or not. So New Gundam is probably one of my top 10 favorite Gundams, or even top 5, uh, back when I was playing Super Robot Wars. It's my favorite go-to mobile suit. One of my first ever model kits was actually the New Gundam. And it was even before I knew what Gundams were. By the way, the original 144 scale new Gundam model kind of sucked. The first time I ever saw the heavy weapon system was actually in this line of SD Gundam called the Gunso SD Gundam. It actually has a high mega cannon on its head, just like the Gundam Double Zeta. Can you imagine? It's probably the most powerful UC Gundam ever. I so this is a P Bandai exclusive. I was hoping it would be something I didn't have to pre-order, and but it's pretty much what you can expect from Bandai these days. Like all the expansion parts, all the full armor parts are going to be P Bandai. It's pretty annoying in my opinion. So it's about twenty dollars, but you probably have to pay a little bit more in the U.S. I think it was twenty-two on the U.S. P Bandai, and then you have to pay tax and shipping after that. Uh, so it could actually be a little bit more expensive. The size of the box is about the same size as a typical small HG kit. And the expansion parts you'll get are high mega shield, hyper mega rifle, chest armors, skirt armors, and leg armors. Yeah, there are new decal stickers and these are not water slide decals. So as you can see here, the attachment points of the leg armors are hidden underneath the calf armors. The front skirt armors attachment points can slide out and you essentially just put the front skirt on top of it. And the rear skirt, you have to remove the red, just put the rear skirt on top of that. The chest piece, there's a sensor on one side, the antenna on the other side, you remove those and then you show the attachment points and you put the chest armor over those. Proportion looks really good. It's thick. <laughs> it's, uh, it's thick at the right places. So in my opinion, it actually looks better than the MG version of the HWS. Probably because the Master Grid version heavy weapon system was actually made for High New Gundam. It was retrofitted on the version Katoki as an afterthought. So the proportion doesn't work quite well. You can see the head actually looks a little too big. Although in one version, it comes with a cream colored plastic instead of white. I thought that looked really good. So as you can see, the ex expansion sets are very detailed. They really designed the underneath of the panels, even you don't really see it. In the RG version, there are no gimmicks under the front skirt. And I actually kind of like the Master Grid version. If you guys seen it, it actually had hidden arms under the front skirts, just like the, the O and also Nightingale. So if you look underneath the skirt armors and leg armors, it actually shows really uh, amazing details, like which adds a lot of depth to these armors and make it look really, really amazing. Look at that, like look how detailed the designs are and then it shows a lot of ups and downs. Like the topography of the design is just really good looking. And as you can see here, the, the armor, although heavy, it doesn't really affect the movements very much. And the Hyper Mega Rifle compared to the original HG kit, a lot more detail. You can actually extend it in the RG version. Master Grid version, you actually put the regular beam rifle into this armor to turn it into a hyper beam rifle, uh, which I thought was kind of weird. And it's very loose. Um, I didn't really like that design. They added a piece of mounting piece on the back of the rifle to help attach to the forearm, which I thought is a nice touch. And you can also see how, even though it's heavy, the joint of the original RG New Gundam has been designed to be able to hold up the rifle without losing its strength. So here's the shield. I think it's a really good idea to abandon the gimmicks that was introduced in the original Master Grey HWS. I thought it was a weird gimmick. If you also had double fin funnel expansion set, you can also add it to the HWS system and to create this uh, beautiful monstrosity. It just looks so good. To buy or not buy, this is easy. This is totally a buy. Um, I recommend buying the double fin funnel also, just because how well they go together. I actually placed an order while I was making this video. I like the sub arm in the master grade in the front skirt. Although if they omitted it, I think it's fine without it. Uh, the new RG design of the chest missiles are also better looking compared to the master grade version. The head of the master grade looks a little too big. This is also a huge upgrade 
compared to the older HG kit. And the attention to details, like all the underneath of the armors were designed as well, which is a, a very nice touch in my opinion. So that's it for the RGHWS expansion set. Let me know what you think in the comment section, if you're gonna buy it or not. I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.